You didn't tell him we were coming. Look, you can't let a little thing like world poverty come between us. You've changed that ever since you've been with her. You've just forgotten about us. Yeah, listen. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Leave it! Stop it! Leave it! Leave it! I don't know, mate. Seems you're guilty to be proven innocent around here. I know you, mate. I know you. Why should I, Leo? I'm the one who's getting excluded. Why? Dad, do you want me to get beaten up or something? No. I think you finally lost it, Dad. For away games. What's he like? Georgie, mad as a box of frogs, but you should see him skip. <laughs> Hello, Dad. <laughs> hey, I want to make a claim in your will! <sighs> you put him in your will! Yeah. Yeah. I already am. This idiot's been on the scene for, what, five minutes? <laughs> really? Well, you've really got to ask that. You've got to ask why? Look at me, I can't! Why? How could you do that to Jay? I am not giving up on Cause, her. Because that is what love is. It gets given to you and it gets taken away. I am away. not giving up on people her. People like you, they don't deserve it. Project, you, you kid! You have given them every reason to never work with the Mitchells again. I am running a business. This is a business. If I had shown up in serious trouble, I can't hear you. It's about this little girl. She wasn't afraid of anything. She, she always got herself into trouble. <laughs> Finish that story for me. Come on. Yes, you, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, Red. Redwood. I would. For Calabar. I mean, um...
go. <clears throat> I have to go, all right? <clears throat> Watch me, ready? Let's <clears throat> go get the hips going. All right, here you go. Flying yeah, over, he's like been melting. <laughs> Jay. I can do that. <clears throat> Michael, I mean, um, Tipper. Private chipper, they, they told me to find you. Go, go and find the rest of the men. Another tunnel above us. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Sir, you can't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're about to move. The big Captain Gray said. Dear Mum. Mum. Love some guy. Dear Mum. Don't worry about me. When I was a little lad, he was, he was very good to me, and I won't let you down. Write to me again. Send me a couple of pictures of Upton Park. Your loving son, Michael. It was a, a very, a very, a very baby-faced me, Lorraine. Aww. It was, it was, yeah, many moons ago now, yeah. But oh, yeah, it was. It, that's lovely to be back. I... And then the character was called Tyler because obviously it was, it was a recast, and it was obviously quite secretive in terms of they didn't want people to know the character yeah. was being recast and that it was. It was being done. Uh -huh. I came back on January the eighth. I remember. I remember the date. It's good. With <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you know, we we weren't totally honest with you, and you're free to walk away now. Um, the the, the role's uh, Ben Mitchell. Phil Mitchell's son. You know? <laughs> it's, what about coming in? Was yeah. Really tiny. Yeah, it was Peter Pan, the panto, and he was playing Captain Hook. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I I don't love you story. start. Oh, I don't you start. <laughs> and uh, I played Michael, and Steve was well. Essentially, at the beginning of the panto, he's my dad. So it's, it's um, funny how it comes so, around. Well, yeah, exactly. He's got very thick facial hair. He was snogging right? for hours. We were at yeah, it. We were at it for hours. Cold, late at night. <laughs> at like, it for like hours. Freezing cold. Yeah. And we we were kissing for about three hours. Yeah. It was just sort of like just after a while, you just sort of become. Will this ever end? Is this just us yeah. now? Are we going to be in tomorrow morning? We don't and know. And in your head, you've got rid of all everyone else, and it was just us. <laughs> just us. It? And I've certainly go, wow, I just did something really good. Uh, so I think that, that so, was... <clears throat> so it was daunting. It was like it was like um, there was no time to rest. You had to come and hit the ground running if you like. Driving himself mad in the house. Um, I think he'd have to. Uh, I think he'd probably uh, commit to being at the car lot again. He'd probably just sit in there and throw a tennis ball at the wall or something. At least he can, um, at least he can stand outside. Who knows? Right. Well, thanks very much for your questions, guys. And I hope you... Question from Amy. What's your favourite thing about playing Ben? Um, the uncertainty. The uncertainty. Not knowing where he's going to go next. He's such a dissipated character. There's so much... Um, there's so much that we don't know about him still, and there's so much that you know. Even I find out as we go. Um, that's 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 the fun part, definitely. What's been a t and I was at first terrified because I thought it's it's 
it's a huge press in, in making Ben that kind of, he's so layered and so developed in so many <laughs> crazy ways at times. To then have that, that different change in his life, I think has, has been a really good way of telling this story. It's about as far as it gets. <laughs> okay, we just have to tell everybody we didn't plan that. You didn't know I was going to ask you. No, I didn't. I actually didn't. <laughs> oh my word, yeah. that was fantastic. Thanks, Gabby. Thank you. So, I'm are you... really sweating now. You've really like put the <laughs> put, I'm like this. Do you know what? Last Seriously. time I interviewed you, you said exactly the same thing. It was on the radio, and you said, "Oh, Gabby, you've made me sweat." I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just you. <laughs> I'm scared. Doof, 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 doof. You made me scared. You're all brilliant. Thank you so much, my darling. I'll see you soon. Thanks, darling. Take you take care. Bye, love. Bye, bye. <laughs> Four in the morning. We're just leaving to go to uh, to go to Aldwickbury to start our seventy-two hole golf challenge. I'm waking up. Uh, get a long day. Get behind us. Support Macmillan, um, and let's raise even more money. So hoping to, to bring it home. I'm also playing with uh, playing with my granddad's putter, um, which is a general reminder why we're doing this. We're trying to help uh, Macmillan Cancer Support, who who do so much for people with cancer. My granddad's currently suffering at the moment. Um, so please swipe up and donate what you can. Yeah, no, Cheers. Just finished 72 holes, 14 hours and 20 minutes. We're all absolutely knackered. I just want to thank Aldwickbury Golf Club, who have been absolutely phenomenal today. They've been at everyone's beckoning call. They've they've listened. They've allowed us to play through people. They've been top draw. Um, and uh, my mates and my dad for playing. Um, and everyone who's donated I'm keeping uh, the donations open until Friday so please keep giving what you can um, Macmillan do phenomenal work and um, this is for everyone you know who's ever lost someone from cancer um, these people help support them so so keep giving thank you What have I missed? You haven't missed anything. It hasn't worked. We've only just started. It's supposed to be here an hour ago. It was something came up at work. Well, that's more important than this. You tell me. I heard you. I, I heard you. <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> but, uh, <sighs> you, you. So this uh, offer of yours? What? This offer, me moving in. Is it still on the table? Of course it is. Yeah. 
I better get packing then. My hearing was gone. But you... You were lovely. And you were caring. And I couldn't tell you what had happened. I... I, I just couldn't. I really don't want to lose you over this, Cal. Right. <clears throat> I want to see my lawyer. I thought you might. What did I tell you? What, Dad? Jay? Is tea for me? Oh, God, they serve up muck in that place, don't they? Ooh. Well, you got any cheese? Well, you... Well, maybe they didn't fancy relying on his evidence. I mean, would you? Listen, so take that, that smile off your face, all right? You... What? You said you'd beg. Ben? Fair enough. All right, all right. Are you? Sharon, too. I've seen you chasing around with your furry tongue hanging out. What are you going to do? You going to hit me? Go on. Go on, try it. <laughs> no, nothing <laughs> will keep us together. We could steal time <laughs> just, just for one day. <laughs> Thank you. It's been the best year of my life so far. Uh, I want to say thanks to Kate and John for giving me the opportunity. The amazing Eliza Melody, who is a dynamite woman, and helps us every day. My amazing classmate Sharon Batten, our senior producer. Um, we are loving everything that we're doing right now. Thank you very much for this. Sounds really good. Congratulations, nomination at the NTA Awards oh, for Best Newcomer. Much. That is thank fantastic. It really is. Does that, does it mean a lot? Something like that to you. I think I think it's always nice to to be recognised yes. for for your work. I think sure. um, definitely, and it's been such a such a uh, big year yes. that it's always nice to get that nod. And I think um, I'm I'm excited for it. Absolutely, I love that you're taking it. The most important woman in, in the my world. Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Which is right. your gran, your nan. My you're nan. taking her. My world. Yeah. Is she sorted her outfit? Is she all? Yeah, organized? yeah. She cost a fortune. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Oh, there she is. Max Bowden. Then Mitchell, EastEnders. Kara. Sailing. No. Who wants plain sailing? No, indeed. Absolutely. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> he might want a little bit of it, that's for sure. I think it's really interesting because you... You're a sweet strawberry wine. You're as warm as glass brandy. Honey, I'll stay strong. On your love.